Hey everyone from Fair State University, my name is Mike Kropenicki and today I'm going to go over a quick update on my project which is uh, Project Asphalt. It's a simple car customizer application where you can uh, swap out hoods, bumpers, change paint, turn on neon lights, all sorts of stuff all in real time using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is allow customers or future customers that are looking to upgrade the visuals on their car uh, all in real time without having to spend a dime. So anyways, um, I'm going to kind of go over all the new updates and I'm going to try to make this quick for you guys because I know Devin's going to take probably about a half an hour or so and we all love to give Devin a, you know, a hard time. So uh, <laughs> anyways, um, I'm going to just quickly go in here and uh, to everyone that's watching this uh, or um, on the forums uh, you can download at the bottom of the either the forums or on the video um, a link that will you can download the folder and then you can download the game and, and unzip the folder and play it and give me, give me input um, but anyways yeah so I'm just gonna open this folder up and once you unzip it, just go to Windows No Editor, click on my uh, new logo and where it says Project Asphalt Game. And it'll just load up like that. So, oh, I'm going to lower that music. There we go. Okay, so um, as you guys can see right away, we've got a completely new main menu. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have been playing around with it when I released new updates for you guys, but um, redid the whole main menu system. Uh, so we got brand new icons and, and all that stuff and completely new way of navigation. So you guys can see that. I tried to simplify everything as, as best as I could. Um, we also got a really cool um, just shots of the uh, Subaru that I worked on for a second. It's like, oh, it looks kind of cool in the background. So, and then, um, but yeah, so uh, for anyone that's going to download and use the program, I've got an about, about page where uh, you can read about the project. It's got my elevator pitch and basically uh, kind of lets people know what the project's been being made for in the first place. Um, I've got different options so you guys can see what the controls are. Uh, just going to stick with keyboard and mouse at this point because um, I want to get this thing done and, and presentable for everybody. Um, but I'll, I'll probably see about adding controller support here in the future. And then um, I added sound so you guys, uh, would, if you guys want, I'm not sure if it would be beneficial or not to listen to music while you're customizing the car. Um, right now I'll just have it for the main menu, but if you guys would enjoy listening to the music in the game instead, let me know and I can easily fix that for you guys. And then um, we've got, uh, you know, different songs to... I like that. Okay, and then, um, you know, just, you know, start game. Okay, so um, the music cuts off, like I said, so if you guys want it in, in game, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm going to just kind of go over it. So um, Smitty recommended having um, a uh, watermark uh, to show copyright in my logo right there. Um, so I added that in there for you guys. And then um, I've also added the logo in the background and changed the wall for you guys. So you can see... Um, Hopefully it looks on my monitor looks about the same, but if it looks like two different colors Please let me know and I will see what I can do about that. Um, I also uh, Expanded the background environment for everyone uh, To look a little bit more open um, a lot of people felt like it was a little too enclosed So hopefully that feels a little bit better um, and then I've also I'm working on a brand new UI system that has been a lot more work than I wanted it to be, um, but it's been a lot of fun working on it too. So, but um, hopefully you guys like the look of this a lot better. Um, navigation is kind of the same, just like the main menu. So, you got all the different options uh, here. And for the sake of time, um, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys that um, everything's starting to work now. And. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. And then, um, if you guys don't like this, you can...
close it out. I'm just gonna close this out. Okay, so, but yeah, everything's working now, guys. And then um, I'm just trying to finish up the rest of it. Um, also, if you guys um, want, you can, you know, turn on the lights and turn them off still and stuff. All that stuff's still there. The newest feature, though, is a um, taking screenshot uh, option. So I've got a program now, so you can actually take a screenshot and it's going to save it right in the folder um, that you guys uh, downloaded and placed on your desktop or wherever you placed it. So wherever you put the folder, that's where the screenshots are going to go. So you know, so you don't lose them. Um, but yeah, so like, let's say you know I really like the car at you know this angle or something like that. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty sweet, and I'm like, I want a screenshot of that so I can show my friends what I've been working on. I can just click on it, and it saves it right there, and you can see exactly where it shows it. But I'll, I'll show you how where to how to get there if you don't click on that immediately. So, but yeah, so and then uh, you know we can quit the game too. So, but yeah, that's all I've got to show for you guys for right now. Um, and then, like I said, if you guys want your screenshots of the car and you want to show them off to your friends or family or post you know wacky creations that you're making um, just for fun you can um, just go to the safe uh, here I'll go back so um, go to the project asphalt folder and then go to save and I made a folder there for you guys for screenshots and just click on that and you'll see all the screenshots that I've been taking <laughs> in, in the game so and the nice thing is, is it doesn't show the UI so you, you don't have any like interruption or anything like that um, but yeah so anyways guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, I hopefully this was quick enough for us to get through everyone, but um, please leave me um, input um, on the forums, and uh, right now I'm currently working on finishing up the UI, and then um, I'm trying to figure out a reset position camera um, option, so if you move it around and don't, don't like where you put it, you can just quickly reset it and reset the car. Um, that part is easy. It's just resetting the camera that I'm having problems with. So um, if you guys have any experience with that, please let me know so we can add that feature to this so it helps everybody else out. Um, anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching the video and take care.